Pablo Ruiz Picasso born October 25, 1881 and died on April 8, 1973, was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, and theater designer who spent most of his adult life in France. Regarded as one of the most influential artists of the 20th century, he is known for co-founding the Cubist movement, the invention of constructed sculpture, the co-invention of collage, and for the wide variety of styles that he helped develop and explore. Among his most famous works are the proto-cubist Les Demoiselles de Vignon, 1907, and Guernica, 1937, a dramatic portrayal of the bombing of Guernica by German and Italian air forces during the Spanish Civil War. Picasso demonstrated extraordinary artistic talent in his early years, painting in a naturalistic manner through his childhood and adolescence. During the first decade of the 20th century, his style changed as he experimented with different theories, techniques, and ideas. After 1906, the Fauvist work of the slightly older artist Henri Matisse motivated Picasso to explore more radical styles, beginning a fruitful rivalry between the two artists, who subsequently were often paired by critics as the leaders of modern art. Picasso's work is often categorized into periods. While the names of many of his later periods are debated, the most commonly accepted periods in his work are the Blue Period, 1901-1904, the Rose Period, 1904-1906, the African-Influenced Period, 1907-1909, Analytic Cubism, 1909-1912, and Synthetic Cubism, 1912-1919, also referred to as the Crystal Period. Much of Picasso's work of the late 1910s and early 1920s is in a neoclassical style, and his work in the mid-1920s often has characteristics of surrealism. His later work often combines elements of his earlier styles. Exceptionally prolific throughout the course of his long life, Picasso achieved universal renown and immense fortune for his revolutionary artistic accomplishments, and became one of the best-known figures in 20th-century art. Picasso was born at 2315 on October 25, 1881, in the city of Malaga, Andalusia, in southern Spain. He was the first child of Don José Ruiz y Blasco, 1838-1913, and Maria Picasso y López. Picasso's family was of middle-class background. His father was a painter who specialized in naturalistic depictions of birds and other game. For most of his life, Ruiz was a professor of art at the School of Crafts and a curator of a local museum. Ruiz's ancestors were minor aristocrats. Picasso's birth certificate and the record of his baptism include very long names, combining those of various saints and relatives. Ruiz y Picasso were his were paternal and maternal surnames, respectively, per Spanish custom. The surname Picasso comes from Liguria, a coastal region of northwestern Italy, its capital is Genoa. There was a painter from the area named Matteo Picasso, 1794-1879, born in Recco, Genoa, of late neoclassical style portraiture, though investigations have not definitively determined his kinship with the branch of ancestors related to Pablo Picasso. The direct branch from Sorai, Liguria, Genoa, can be traced back to Tommaso Picasso, 1728-1813. His son Giovanni Battista, married to Isabella Musanti, was Pablo's great-great-grandfather. Of this marriage was born Tommaso, Sorai, 1787, Malaga, 1851. Pablo's maternal great-grandfather, Tommaso Picasso moved to Spain around 1807. Picasso showed a passion and a skill for drawing from an early age. According to his mother, his first words were piz, piz, a shortening of lapis, the Spanish word for pencil. From the age of seven, Picasso received formal artistic training from his father in figure drawing and oil painting. Ruiz was a traditional academic artist and instructor, who believed that proper training required disciplined copying of the masters, and drawing the human body from plaster casts and live models. His son became preoccupied with art to the detriment of his classwork. The family moved to a Coruna in 1891 where his father became a professor at the School of Fine Arts. They stayed almost four years. On one occasion, the father found his son painting over his unfinished sketch of a pigeon. Observing the precision of his son's technique, 
An apocryphal story relates, Ruiz felt that the 13-year-old Picasso had surpassed him, and vowed to give up painting, though paintings by him exist from later years. In 1895, Picasso was traumatized when his seven-year-old sister, Conchita, died of diphtheria. After her death, the family moved to Barcelona, where Ruiz took a position at its School of Fine Arts. Picasso's father and uncle decided to send the young artist to Madrid's Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando, the country's foremost art school. At age 16, Picasso set off for the first time on his own, but he disliked formal instruction and stopped attending classes soon after enrollment. Madrid held many other attractions. The Prado housed paintings by Diego Velázquez, Francisco Goya, and Francisco Zurbarán. Picasso especially admired the works of El Greco, elements such as his elongated limbs, arresting colors, and mystical visages are echoed in Picasso's later work. Throughout his life Picasso maintained several mistresses in addition to his wife or primary partner. Picasso was married twice and had four children by three women. Photographer and painter Dora Mar was also a constant companion and lover of Picasso. The two were closest in the late 1930s and early 1940s, and it was Mar who documented the painting of Guernica. The women in Picasso's life played an important role in the emotional and erotic aspects of his creative expression, and the tumultuous nature of these relationships has been considered vital to his artistic process. Many of these women functioned as muses for him, and their inclusion in his extensive oeuvre granted them a place in art history. A largely recurring motif in his body of work is the female form. The variations in his relationships informed and collided with his progression of style throughout his career. For example, portraits created of his first wife, Olga, were rendered in a naturalistic style during his neoclassical period. His relationship with Marie Therese Walter inspired many of his surrealist pieces, as well as what is referred to as his Year of Wonders. Reappearance of Acrobat's theme in 1905 put an end to his Blue Period and transitioned into his Rose Period. This transition has been incorrectly attributed to the presence of Fernande Olivier in his life. Picasso has been commonly characterized as a womanizer and a misogynist, being quoted as having said to one of his mistresses, Françoise Gelat, women are machines for suffering. He later told her, for me there are only two kinds of women, goddesses and doormats. In her memoir, Picasso, My Grandfather, Marina Picasso writes of his treatment of women, he submitted them to his animal sexuality, tamed them, bewitched them, ingested them, and crushed them onto his canvas. After he had spent many nights extracting their essence, once they were bled dry, he would dispose of them. Of the several important women in his life, two, Marie Therese Walter, a mistress, and Jacqueline Rock, his second wife, committed suicide. Others, notably his first wife Olga Kaklava, and his mistress Dora Mar, succumbed to nervous breakdowns. His son, Paolo, developed a fatal alcoholism due to depression. His grandson, Pablito, also committed suicide when he was barred by Jacqueline Rock from attending the artist's funeral. Picasso was exceptionally prolific throughout his long lifetime. The total number of artworks he produced has been estimated at 50,000, comprising 1,885 paintings, 1,228 sculptures, 2,880 ceramics, roughly 12,000 drawings, many thousands of prints, and numerous tapestries and rugs. As of 2015, Picasso remained the top-ranked artist, based on sales of his works at auctions, according to the Art Market Trends report. More of his paintings have been stolen than any other artists. The medium in which Picasso made his most important contribution was painting. In his paintings, Picasso used color as an expressive element, but relied on drawing rather than subtleties of color to create form and space. He sometimes added sand to his paint to vary its texture. A nanoprobe of Picasso's The Red Armchair, 1931, by physicists at Argonne National Laboratory in 2012 confirmed art historian's belief that Picasso used common house paint in many of his paintings. Much of his painting was done at night by artificial light. Picasso's early sculptures were carved from wood or modeled in wax or clay, but from 1909 to 1928 Picasso abandoned modeling and instead made sculptural constructions using diverse materials. 
An example is Guitar, 1912, a relief construction made of sheet metal and wire that Jane Flugel terms a three-dimensional planar counterpart of Cubist painting that marks a revolutionary departure from the traditional approaches, modeling and carving. From the beginning of his career, Picasso displayed an interest in subject matter of every kind, and demonstrated a great stylistic versatility that enabled him to work in several styles at once. For example, his paintings of 1917 included the Pontiest Woman with a Mantilla, the Cubist figure in an armchair, and the naturalistic Harlequin, all in the Musu Picasso, Barcelona. In 1919, he made a number of drawings from postcards and photographs that reflect his interest in the stylistic conventions and static character of posed photographs. In 1921 he simultaneously painted several large neoclassical paintings and two versions of the Cubist composition Three Musicians, Museum of Modern Art, New York, Philadelphia Museum of Art. In an interview published in 1923, Picasso said, The several manners I have used in my art must not be considered as an evolution, or as steps towards an unknown ideal of painting. If the subjects I have wanted to express have suggested different ways of expression I have never hesitated to adopt them. Although his Cubist works approach abstraction, Picasso never relinquished the objects of the real world as subject matter. Prominent in his Cubist paintings are forms easily recognized as guitars, violins, and bottles. When Picasso depicted complex narrative scenes it was usually in prints, drawings, and small-scale works, Guernica, 1937, is one of his few large narrative paintings. Picasso painted mostly from imagination or memory. According to William Rubin, Picasso could only make great art from subjects that truly involved him. Unlike Matisse, Picasso had eschewed models virtually all his mature life, preferring to paint individuals whose lives had both impinged on, and had real significance for, his own. The art critic Arthur Danto said Picasso's work constitutes a vast pictorial autobiography that provides some basis for the popular conception that Picasso invented a new style each time he fell in love with a new woman. The autobiographical nature of Picasso's art is reinforced by his habit of dating his works, often to the day. He explained, I want to leave to posterity a documentation that will be as complete as possible. That's why I put a date on everything I do.